Have you ever thought about all the time you spent studying and listening to music and whether it's even helping you get your work done? Whether you're getting more distracted by the type of music or actually focusing on the task at hand? Well, I have, and after spending some time researching, I found some pretty interesting results. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Amit Chopra, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about whether or not lo-fi music really makes us more productive as students. But before I get into that, let's talk about what lo-fi music itself is. So the acronym lo-fi really stands for low fidelity, and simply put, it's a type of recording that has technical flaws or imperfections. In fact, to put into perspective for you, here's what hi-fi or high fidelity music sounds like. And here is what lo-fi music sounds like. So now that you know what lo-fi music is and how it sounds, let's get into why students find it so helpful. So there's a lot of information on the internet about how lo-fi music contributes to a productive work or study session, but the core idea still remains that lo-fi music works alongside your brain rather than making your brain work against it. And you might wonder, how is that possible? How can any type of music work against your brain? Wouldn't it just go through one ear and out the other? Well, unfortunately, this isn't the case, but I'll come back to this point a little bit later in the video, so make sure you still keep watching. So going back to the benefits, listening to lo-fi music can help your productivity in more than one way. First off, it increases your brain activity by picking out the differences in sounds such as the background beats, instruments, etc. And this activates both sides of your brain, which is apparently pretty common when you're listening to music. And so when this happens, your brain naturally gets into a mindset of focus. Another thing that happens when you listen to lo-fi music is that your mood gets elevated and your anxiety gets reduced. This is simply because music helps you release something called serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter in your body that is responsible for mood. And so the more you listen to it, the more serotonin and dopamine, another transmitter, will be released. From this release of dopamine, it'll reduce your stress hormones and you'll notice that it'll make you more alert, focused, motivated, and happy. These are some of the main ways in how lo-fi music is helpful. But do you remember how I said earlier in the video that not all music works alongside your brain? Here's why. Listening to music, specifically with words, works against your brain because your mind is forced to interpret the song. I mean, think about it. Think about all the times that you listen to music while you're working or you're studying. It takes slightly longer because your attention keeps shifting between the task at hand to the music that you're listening to because your mind is trying to understand the lyrics and remember them. Whereas if you already know the song by heart or it's an instrumental or lo-fi, it'll simply work alongside your brain and go through one ear and out the other. So in an overall sense, after understanding each one of these points, I would say that lo-fi music can and does make you more productive. It helps you focus, stay engaged with the work, and to be honest, I find that for myself, listening to music with lyrics in it helps me when I'm working on an assignment, whereas listening to lo-fi music helps me when I'm studying. So really any type of music that works. But if you're someone who's attentive to certain things or details, this might distract you and slow you down. And before I end this video, in case you didn't notice, the whole reason why you've been so focused this entire time is because there's lo-fi music playing in the background. Or maybe this video is just that good. It's probably the second one though. I hope so. So that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below to show YouTube what's up. Hit that subscribe button for more videos and comment down below a favorite song that you like to listen to. And as always, thanks for watching.